Dr. Trout dead end. Sam was having trouble turning the giant wheel underwater, and he was running out of air. If this plan doesn't work, my friends and I are in serious pro trouble, he thought. Sam pictured Lucy and Antonio and Mr. Nicobe. He pictured Miss Granger and all his classmates. Every elementary put them all in danger, and only he could save them. He was the other mother. He could fill the school, and he sends now that he could be the school, if only he could turn the wheel. He could not fa fail. He would not fail. Sam used all of his strength to give the wheel another tug. Screech! It worked. The wheel was turning. Then Sam saw a dial atop a water heater labeled water speed. How did I not see that before, wondered Sam. As he turned the wheel, a small needle of dial moved from the green to red. The word danger was in the red section. Sam pressed his feet against the water heater and turned the wheel until the dial's needle was past the word danger. The water heater began to sh shaking. It's going to blow. Sam thought, I've got to get out of here. Sam turned and kicked with all his might, all of his might. He burst through the surface and gasped for breath. Antonio and Lucy were inside the pipe, waiting for him. Water rushed faster and faster to the pipes. All around Sam, the water was bubbling and Splashing, the water heater shook. Sam, what did you do? Antonio yelled. I'm getting us out of here. We'll travel through the pipe, Sam said. I hope this works, Lucy said. Sticking out a hand, Sam grabbed a hold and Lucy pulled him up. He lay down behind Antonio and Lucy inside the big pipe. It was like the three of them were were laying at top of the water slide, but they weren't going on fuzzy fun zip down into swimming pool. No, they were going to be a rocket up through the area elementary. Where will this pipe spit it out? Lucy asked. Sam didn't answer. He had no idea where this pipe would take them. He just hoped it was somewhere above the ground. The pipe started really shaking. The water heater began to blow. At any moment, the water would be blast from the pipe. Hold your breath, Sam shouted. Here we go. Boom! The water heater blew. There was a giant blast of warm water. Sam, Antonio, and Lucy were launched through the pipe. But zoom! The three friends raced through the pipe as 100 miles per hour. A wave of water. Up ahead, the pipe split into two. Lucy shouted, Sam! As the pipe split, Lucy was carried off in one direction, and Sam and Antonio went in another. Sam held his breath as he jumped through the pipe. Up ahead, the pipe split into two again. The water carried Antonio to the right. Sam tried to follow him, but it was too late. Sam whisked down a different pipe. Now Sam grapes were all alone, flying through the area elementary. Sam saw darkness at the end of the pipe. Oh no. It was dead end. Sam had slowed down where he was smashed into the, into the end of the pipe. He reached out on it. Scrapped his fingers against the pipe, but it was no use. He couldn't stop. He couldn't slow down.